Hey and welcome to PS Tutorials. My name's Ben Taylor and today it's Minute Monday. On Mondays at PS Tutorials, we give you a cool technique that you can learn in Photoshop in just one minute. Today though, we're taking it up a notch because we're giving you five tricks and tips that you can learn in this one minute. So without further ado, let's jump into today's tutorial and get started. If you've ever worked on an image and you have to keep zooming in and out, it can get a bit frustrating. If you go up to Window, down to Arrange, and then down to the bottom and click on the name of your picture, then go up to Arrange again, and then down to Two Up Vertical, you have your picture showing twice, one zoomed in and one far away. If I click on my Rectangle tool and then draw around the eyes, look what happens. I'm now affecting the other image. This is perfect. Now if I say go over to opacity and make another change, everything I do, I do to this other image. This can be a brilliant technique if you're retouching an image and you have to zoom in and out the image all the time. If you ever wanted to take a colour from outside of Photoshop, it's simple. Simply click on your eyedropper tool, click on the colour within your document which will show there, click on it again and then drag across to the colour outside Photoshop and then look, it shows in your foreground colour. Now you can simply paint it into your document or introduce it whatever way you please. If you've ever wanted to change the colour behind your image, all you have to do is press spacebar and F, and then you can simply cycle between the colours. If you've ever worked with the transform tool, you'll know that sometimes when you're zoomed into a picture, you can't get to the edge to resize it. Simply press Ctrl or Command 0 and this will zoom straight to the edge. Then you can drag it like this and then just resize it as you please. Today's last trick is to really zoom in quickly. Sometimes you can go zooming in and out like this and it takes quite a lot of time, especially when you're doing it a lot. If you press Ctrl or Command 1, you zoom in 100% straight away. And this will just speed things up if you're working on a big job. So I hope you're able to use some of these tricks and techniques in your own retouching workflow. If you haven't already and you really enjoy learning Photoshop, then it might be worth you subscribing to our channel because we have videos like this every single Monday and Wednesday for you to enjoy. Whatever you do today, folks, have a great day and I'll see you all again soon.